Guitar Pilgrim here and today I will show you how to play a fantastic song if you're a beginner. Who'll Stop the Rain by the Creedence Clearwater Revival. I'm gonna show you how to play the intro, the verse and there's a solo also. And at the end of the video there's a play along section where you can play along the entire song if you want. Let's take a look. Press down your third finger at the third fret, then your second finger at the second fret. And if you're just starting out playing the guitar and you're a beginner, this is just perfect to play the G chord. It's actually a G6, but it's kind of a beginner G. If you can though, also press down your little finger at the third fret. And then we have like the complete G. On to D. First, start off with your second, first finger, excuse me, first finger, then your second finger both at the second fret and then your third finger at the third fret. And here we have a D chord. And remember with the D chord you do not want to play the sixth string. Light strings sound much better. On to E minor, start with your second finger at the second fret and also third finger at the second fret. And you actually want to press down those fingers simultaneously if you can. So, it's G, with or without the little finger, D, make sure you focus on playing the light strings, and E minor. Let's move on to the strumming pattern. Whenever you are learning a new strumming pattern, you just want to pick one chord, in this case a G chord, and just keep playing that strumming pattern over and over again. And while doing so, focus on a very relaxed and smooth hand. Onto the second bar, here we have a variation. Five strums, down up, and then one strum on the D. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Onto the D, one strum. Now those last two strums you want to play quite loud. From the top. And then the exact same thing on E minor and again back to D. Last two bars, a G with a strumming pattern. Let's start off from the beginning and see if you can play along. Here we go. Two, three, four. all those years still playing a G chord and a C chord is fun. That's a good thing about playing the guitar. Okay, so the G chord we already know and the strumming pattern is exactly the same, so let's move on to the C. Now this is very important. You really want to start off with your third finger. That's very important. And while doing so, make sure it's near the fret. Not like this, but near the fret. Then on to the next finger, it's your second finger at the second fret, and lastly, your first finger. 
So keep in mind, when you play the C chord, you want to start off with your third finger near the fret, and then the other fingers. And of course, C goes back to G, and when you go back to G, again, you start with the third finger. And you can add the little finger if you want to, or you can leave it out. Long as I remember Next part, we're going to play C, G, and back to C and G. C and G, back and forth. If you have trouble with the G, remember, lift off your little finger. On to the last part of the verse. Start off with C, and it's C, D, E minor, and back to G. And that's basically the whole verse. Now in the second and third verse, there's one extra chord, which is a little bit difficult. It's the B minor. Now there are two ways to play the B minor. Let's start off with the most, um, the easiest way to play the B minor. If you can play the A minor, which is uh, like this, second finger, third finger, first finger. And you just slide up all those fingers, two frets. Then we get kind of a B minor-ish chord. It actually sounds quite nice in this song. In actual fact, it's not really a B minor, but it's like a beginner's B minor. Eventually, what you want to do is, of course, play the bar chord. Let's take a look. You start off with your third finger at the fourth fret, little finger, fourth fret, second finger, third fret, and here it is, the tricky part, a bar with your index finger. You want to press down either all six strings or focus on five strings, starting from your A string. Now this is obviously a very difficult chord if you're a beginner, so what I suggest uh, you do is either play the B minor like the A minor, but just two frets up, like I just showed you, or not bother playing the B minor at all and just play a G instead. Let's go and play the verse without the B minor, the first verse, and play it from the top and see if you can play along. Here we go. Two, three, four. Long as I The solo isn't too difficult at all because it's just one strum most of the time. But what is difficult is to stay in tempo, so you have to count really well. Okay, we're gonna start off with the C chord. One strum, back to G, on to D. Quite loud. And here you want to count one, two, three, four, and then you move on to A minor. On to C, you want to hold your first finger to E minor. Let's see how that sounds, and remember, it helps if you count. One, two, three, four. Makes it so much easier. Here in the E minor, we have uh, three beats, and on the fourth beat, we're going to play a D chord. So it's one, two, three. Four. And it's back to G from the top.
Those were all the parts of Who Stopped the Rain by the Creedence Clearwater Revival. Fantastic song to play if you're a beginner. Now next week we're gonna do something completely different. If you have a request for a song tutorial, leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think. And I will see you guys next time.